Life should be about enjoying yourself. I love having fun. I try to make sure that everything that I'm doing either brings me joy right there, right now, or at least gonna bring me joy in the future. Now this doesn't mean that I'm always in a good mood or I'm always smiling, but I'm always trying my best. I think enjoying yourself really is a skill. And over the years, I've gotten pretty good at having fun, even doing the most mundane things. fun -dane, if you will. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through my daily routine and I'm gonna show you how I make every day a fun day. Let's take a look. Ooh, that's a bright light. It is like the brightest light that's ever been lit. It's like 5 a.m. My wife and my daughter are, are still sleeping. I like to wake up early because this is my, it's like my special dad time. You know, this is Jake time. In the mornings, I like to wake up and do kind of like a reflection. Like I reflect a little bit about yesterday. And most importantly, I, I look ahead to the day to come and I'm looking at, uh, at things that I'm really excited about. It's going to be a fun day. Why don't you? Why don't you come along with me? Check it out. <laughs> oh, hey. I didn't see you there. So, uh, this is me going for a run. This is the other thing that I do. Every morning or a couple times a week, I'll go on a morning run. I only go like a mile or two. Growing up, like I was just a terrible runner. I've got this long, skinny body, bad knees. So I never really liked running. But a couple years ago, I decided that it's something that I wanted to make more time for, get a little more in shape. So one thing that I do love is I love books. I really like podcasts and I love YouTube videos. Every day when I go on my run, that's when I get to do my listening. That's the only time of the week that I get to listen to my stuff. And now I really look forward to these runs. And sometimes on my runs, I like to add in like a little spontaneity you know, mix things up a little bit and uh, have a little bit of fun going down a slide. <laughs> I never do this. I just, I just wanted to impress you. So this is where all the magic happens. This is the uh, Jake workstation. And so this is the start of my work day. Usually the first thing that I do when I sit down and start to work is I, I prioritize and plan out my whole day. I have a general idea of what I want to do. There's some things that like I'm not super excited about or not as fun as others. So what I do is I make sure I know when those things need to get done and I try to get those things done as soon as I can. But the first thing that I do is I make time for the stuff that means the most to me. Like I really like to write. Every day I, uh, I try to start my day with just a little bit of time working about it or thinking about it. And if it's a particularly busy day, then instead of working on it, then I'll just, I'll find some time tomorrow and I'll schedule it in and I'll say, okay, I can't work on it today, but I'll work on it later. So uh, right now, got my little headset on. I'm getting ready to do one of my coaching calls. I spend a lot of time talking to students. And one of the things I do to make this a lot of fun is I do a lot of preparation. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I found out that one of my students really likes uh, Destiny too. So I spent like an hour really getting to know the game inside and out. So that way, when I talk to him, we can talk about stuff about the game and uh, kind of nerd out about it a little bit. So uh, this is me going in for a call. I'm getting ready to teach our Tuesday leadership course. Every Tuesday we do an after school workshop activity. We always switch off as coaches here. This week, my week. Talking about discovering your destiny, really what, what makes you unique. But every time before I give any presentation, I like to take a moment to go through it. I remind myself everything. As I go through it, the main thing in my mind is I'm thinking about my students. Every single class, it's different students, different people, um, different interests, different focuses. And I try to think about, okay, what does this class need? What should I focus on and hit on more? Is there something that I haven't done before? Should I change this up? Should I go shorter here, longer here? It's like that old proverb, you know, you can't, you can't step in the same river twice. I don't give the same presentation to me. I'm not saying I'm a river, but kind of a river. Know your strengths, set goals to work on them. Find people who can help you improve them. And I promise you, you will discover your destiny in no time at all. This is my, one of my favorite times of the day. This is when I get to have fun with, uh, with 
Gracie. Now, you know, believe it or not, Gracie and I, we don't really have the same interests per se. You know, she never really talks to me about my books or whatever political thing we want to talk about. But I always find ways that we can make her games really fun for the both of us. There's the doggy. What sound does the doggy make? <laughs> oh, what sound does the zebra make? That's right. You bit my butt. You bit my butt. You see the turtle over there? There's the turtle. What sounds does the turtle make? That's right. Yay, that's the squirrel. What sound does the squirrel make? That's right. A squeak, squeaker. Squeaky, squeak, squeak. Squeak. So I look forward to this moment all day long. This is uh, one of the highlights where I get to sit down, the bowl of cereal, family movie night. The simple joys in life. So thanks for joining me on my little day of joy and fun. Just remember, if you have to do anything in your day, it doesn't bring you joy. Just make one little change. Find little pieces of joy in everything you do and you'll live a happy life. See you next time.